Pinot Black folks and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this video today and what I'm going to be doing is pumping up and we're going to be looking into uh, objects on this page and basically you'll have to go back and watch full pace and there's time here and everything like that and objects and this is a live view and this is why I have to hurry up and make this here and it's all magneticals and basically uh, even to the basic uh, physicality of our physical makeup as human beings, it's all magnetical, i.e. Uh, the, the male-female attraction and what makes and you produce uh, your DNA copy and you have the, you got female and male, it's that simple. Uh, you could, I could get in the physical aspects of saying it and basically you have triangulation all you have to do is think of the uh, female attraction that attracts and uh, dilates a man's eyes magnetical attraction it's three way on the front and it's three way on the back uh, because basically there's three holes and then in the front side and I'm basically very raw and to the point but the idea that from the front side there's three and it's basically it's how we make a DNA copy of ourselves in magnetical attraction now we are looking in space okay at and I don't care about the rawness it's actual basically just like a doctor would talk but I talk a little bit more raw okay so we get here by a DNA copy and basically we know that we have to plant a seed in an egg and that egg gets and then BAM an electrical copy of a DNA of the female and the male is made in your children okay so basically magnetics we're looking off into space and if you back up the video and you can pay attention like I've already and I'm repeating myself so here we'll zoom in <clears throat> on some magnetical options for yes and if you pay attention to and I'll pop back out here one more size too but see these objects are in the sky right now live okay so we're gonna pop up uh, we'll keep popping up in size. I'll go 777. And this is how they can operate. And everybody was trying to figure out how something's going to work. And it does. And it's what I've been telling everybody. And it's the biggest electrical motor that you got. The universe, okay? And mankind has used to harness it. Has learnt to use to harness it. Excuse me. Now, I don't edit. I basically just pop in show what I'm going to be showing and these are objects in the sky they're magnetical objects and they're huge and basically I'll pop out for a second we'll get down in size here because this stuff's there and that's where I'm at oh big brother wants to tell you where I'm at so there it is plus the uh, private little pieces of well they might be good they might be my friends and then again they might be my enemies but it doesn't matter somebody would definitely want you to know this information because basically the shadow of me has basically popped this open because I did not want to get to that okay we were showing you the image of what we're showing you at this time so basically we're freezing we're back in here so now I'm gonna get up to 999 and I didn't do that at all and I'm being I am the most honest person in the world. I am intangibly wealthy as hell. Can't be. And yeah, there's some people stealing it, and basically it can be proven in a court of law. And that's why my family loves me so much, because the idea that I'm about the only person that can do it and prove it in a court of law at any time. Don't even have to go to a court of law. Basically, some lawyers can go there for me. So intangibly wealthy, beyond stinking belief. And then it's also the brain, too. So basically, these objects are in the sky. Okay, and now I'm going to pop down and show you what I was going to show you anyway, but it seemed like the powers to be, and this is where we're at. And if you know about that, then you know about that. But that's how we manipulate. We have to have objects, satellites. We use natural satellites, electrical currents, and everybody knows about a certain famous electrical theorist and physicist and operator he actually did stuff at the Chicago World's Fair years ago laid a forest down somewhere in the world and it's all historical and it's all factual and this all this stuff can be done by any and it's not mad scientists it's scientists that want to make sure that you are safe and the Constitution safe and your constitutional rights are safe all the time and they are because we have the biggest weapons in the world all kinds of them so basically you see the layers of the stars that are out there and they know it and they do it by layers of stars. They always get their magneticals that they want 
in their delta that they need. And basically, if you're an electrician, you know. I know. And this is magnificent stuff. Beautiful weapons that we have. And I am a communications expert. I am 508. I am a treasurer of the state, the solid state of the United States of America. So basically, anyhow, I always have a shadow on me. And basically, anybody that kind of knows about this stuff will. So be careful with the knowledge that you know. Okay? These are weapons. Okay? It's actual factual. Now let me show you some actual nature that's doing a lot of stuff that I was showing you. And there's going to be another video after this. Just I've thrown you tons of data of electrical presence, and it's all actual factual data. Okay, and this is all can be. And then the idea we have an object that's huge out in space, and basically I always tell you to go to somebody's, and I stole his. Uh, basically, it doesn't matter because I go to JPL and do the same thing. What we're very lucky of is we have the biggest planet that we have in our near us that we know of, and we know there's other objects out there that are big that don't have a luminosity. Okay. NASA's always going to hide that stuff from you. Basically, I was just showing you some of that stuff from the sky, okay? And no matter what, it's in the magnetical grasps of the sun, okay? The sun's this little red dot right there. So we're very lucky to have a heavy mass object that takes up for everything else that's on the other side of the plate here, okay? Because right now, this is not now, okay? This is the 16th today, okay? Down here, Central Standard Time, okay? Now, on December 27th, see, we got Jupiter helping us out and getting on the other side of the platter so the table don't tip over, okay? So we don't have any. Now, are we at a critical point right now? Yeah, we are, and you're seeing the, the information on all the data. So now, basically, Jupiter will be over here with Mars. Mars isn't showing up on here, but basically, that's what's going on right now in our magneticals out there that NASA will let you know about, okay? I showed you the other information there in the live shots, okay? So we move away from this, and then we get... Mother Nature's actual sonogram out in space. As you see this gap here, okay? Now, the fr frequency is high, and he's at F1, and I'll show you some other frequencies in a minute. Now, you see this gap? There's something huge out there that blocks a certain amount, and no matter what, it all works out for Earth because we're a rabbit hiding out in a hole. And I'll give you some more history here. It goes through the 90, 1998 historical. Now you're going to see the jump and it's not, he's not playing with it. I can show you and we can go over to critical frequency. We can go over to F2, F this and everything all the way up the, on the frequencies that we get absorption here on earth. Okay. And then when he states, and basically I'm stating to you too, because quickly I can show these as fast as I can get them to load. I think that they will basically load real fast. I can go to every frequency in here. Okay, and basically going to see the same thing. Now, what I'll do is bring you down here, and I'm at this one. And what we can do is go through a year, six months, but we have this object out there. And I'll go back to the frequency that he's showing, and we should be able to get a plot have one of them end up showing you that there's this huge object that's out there, okay? Because no matter what, it's the only thing that can block that propagation from coming in, okay? So that's what we basically get, a sonogram from out in space, okay? And there on F of F1P, you get a real good plot of what's going on, okay? It's currently... So you see, we have something that's huge that's been out there since the 20th or so in this propagation area, okay, that's blocking what's coming in. Now, I'll give you a one-day plot. And then we have a big jump, you see, on the 9th and the 10th. Now I'm going to go basically show you a bunch of, and basically, like I say, this is basically all data that you can go ahead and look at and it gives you a great of what's going on with the electrical energy to earth and our weather and that we get and everything. Now see we've been having some wild critical action. Yes and then basically on this one we're low during the summertime months. You see here and then we spike up again but basically his, historically and of late we've been pumping up a lot. Okay. And it is a pretty much freight trained out of control. It's a bunch of stuff out of control, but basically it's the control of 
man and also space okay so we go ahead and we'll check out all this stuff here and you'll see some very wild action of recent okay this is current data that is just mind-boggling okay uh, we'll just keep on popping all these current charts in here and you get the freshest because I'm getting this all live okay so basically see so there's huge objects out there plus also that we basically when we get CME action electrical action that's what I'm trying to tell you but it see it gets curtailed when it comes from its path from uh, straight out in space from the Sun and right now we are getting just historical spikes and basically what I'll do is I'm gonna go back I'm gonna show you like one or two more get this to load I'm gonna pop back out of this because it'll probably load off of the page and I'm gonna blow this up and you're gonna see all this see this dramatic that we had that's what I was showing you all the data basically this I'm gonna show you the video that I made last night that pretty much is the same as all this here and I'll pump this up to like 400 I should be able to get 400 and then hopefully plop along and you can just see with going to every one of these graphs that how tremendous and I showed you that zoomed in on that see I just showed you that plot that see we've been getting these spikes so we have some huge stuff out in space I showed you that zoomed in that propagation there and that propagation there so basically we just have some wild historical uh, things to go by because we're finally getting this stuff all mapped out and we see what they've been working off of and this stuff is also to the powers to be the, to be able to push buttons to make weather right now and they do we make weather it is tremendous size of, of platitudes spikes low levels to high levels now what you have to with these are historical highs but you have to remember too that even when we get down to the lows it's not historical lows either but we started at some very lows okay but these down here are still not historical lows these are just historical highs that we're going through right now okay and no we're not at a solar maximum but we're at a solar that's right mother nature is showing us stuff that we never we didn't have our eyes up there before the last time this stuff ever happened but the thing is that's what we're trying to all the physicists and everything are trying to figure out okay when were we last at these highs okay because no matter what, all this charts action that I'm showing you is basically historics, okay? And the other video that you're going to look at, the graphs, and you'll see it's like, well, is he just, no, I don't manipulate it. The only thing that's been manipulated is the uh, volume box on your RADs, your CPM, your radiation in this country and in the world, okay? And basically, there's nothing you can do about it. I've shown you certain ways, and if you pay attention to my videos, you can get your bet, bet accounts, okay? You just have to watch all my videos. It's in them. There's, and it's in the last half do, or last dozen videos of mine, I show you how to do that. So we just got historical stuff going on here, and people need to wake up and pay attention to intelligent people that put videos up and show you the actual scientific fact of what's going on, okay? Because I'm showing you, and other people are showing you, okay? Weather propagation exists, but it's not just weather propagation. It's also Mother Nature is doing her thing, okay? Space, space weather. There's massive stuff going on out right there right now. And if we weren't weather modifying, we wouldn't have known how drastic the space and what's going on in space right now. Now, Sechi today, I can't really give you any footage till Monday because they're going to have to go back to work. They get the weekends off. They're government employees. They're lazy pieces of crap, okay? Sorry, but you got it made. And your unions aren't the only unions in the world that can be protected, okay? You can't smash private unions, okay? And I'm not basically controlled by private unions or anything like that. They owe me some money. So basically, they're nuclear reactors here, and this is a good map and safe places to be. This guy's a little over the top. A lot of this here is basically fear tactic crap. I'm not fear tactic here. It's just the idea that there's certain places that have proportional integral derivatives safer places to be. Uh, nuclear is on its way out military use is fine and in space but not 
powering up and giving you electricity. It's a rip.